Let's check with another member, okay. uh, Honorable Eni Uduma Chima. Has he been suspended? Eni Uduma Chima is not a member of the House of Assembly. His seat has been vacated. Let's find out from him what the situation is. He says he's uh, a member of the State House of Assembly. So and he that he's chairman, House Committee on Security and Special Duties. There he is. Morning and thank you for joining us. Are you a member of the Ebony State House of Assembly? Of course. Honorable Barry, in Udu Kachima is my name. And in Ebony State House of Assembly, I bear the cross and crown of the good people of Eda. I have the tamper proof mandate of the people of Eda. I'm a member of Ebony State House of Assembly. You've not been suspended? Right now, uh, the Speaker of Ebony State House of Assembly, Mr. Chukuma Wazonko, uh, proposed to have vacated my seat and declared this vacant. And I tell you, I am not abiding by that resolution because it is illegal. This is because last year, when we contemplated that the uh, little understanding of the law and processes of governance may make them take that desperate uh, action, we approached the Federal High Court of Nigeria holding in Abakaliki and filed a suit on the 15th of December, 1-5 of December 2014, wherein we sought the court to restrain the speaker from vacating the seats of honorable members who defected from People's Democratic Party to the Labour Party in the height of the crisis and division of People's Democratic Party to pursue their ambition. The uh, processes were served on the Speaker and the House of Assembly, including INEC, on the 19th of December last year. I want to put it on record that contrary to the view being bandied by my colleague over there, that we went to court to uh, contest the declaration of our seats vacant. No. Our matter was in the court, and the records are there before the action occurred. We went to the court to restrain him from taking an action, and he was duly served, and he has his lawyer representing him in the court. He went ahead to do that which we have sought the court to stop him from doing. He resorted to self-help rather than waiting on the courts to give decision. And that is the same thing that is happening every day. Chuku Mawazunku sees himself as the Chief Justice of the Federation. That he can sit in the House of Assembly, do the things a legislator should do, play the role of the legislator and also the role of the judiciary. He does what a speaker should do and also does what a judge should do. That is our problem with him. And the issue of declaration of seats vacant is to us a non-issue because the matter is pending and until a competent court of jurisdiction makes pronouncement is represented until the court pronounces we carry on as legislators of every state house of assembly right, and that in, in our opinion is acting ultra virus it has no effect on us talk to us about this impeachment because we just heard the uh, honorable adefa say the governor has been served and uh, They've established cases of, at least they have the allegations of graft against the governor, and then they have the required number to go ahead and impeach him. The whole story about the impeachment or attempt to impeach the governor, the stories behind them, the petitions are nothing but concocted fabrication of mendacity, fictitious falsehood coupled with malice, with the intention of conferring advantage to the deputy governor of Ebony State, who is the PDP well, gubernatorial candidate for the forthcoming election. Like you pointed out in your, your questioning, all these things they are talking about, the allegations of graft, of incorporating of a company of award of contracts, have been there, existing since 2009. And I'm happy my colleague, Honorable Defa, said he was among those who championed the course that the governor be allowed to do a second tenure. I tell you he's correct on that. The House of Assembly, the uh, Third House of Assembly, passed a resolution adopting the governor unanimously as the candidate of People's Democratic Party because then it was an all-PDP house. And uh, Honorable Defa was privileged to move that motion. It was seconded and we supported him. This motion was moved by Honorable Defa in 2010 and remember, most of these atrocities he's alleging, all these things he's talking about, these breaches and gross misconduct, occurred according to him in 2009. How come 
he could not uh, rise up. How come the House was looking at him, applauding him, adopting him as the best governor, if it is not having a background of politics? Just a I minute. Well, are you, when did the, house, did the House give him any such thing as the best governor? Even in the resolution, in the speeches of Honorable Defa, they've always acknowledged that. Just a minute. Let's find out. Is, is that the case? How uh, could we? What's happened? It's uh, uh, with every sense of respect to Honorable Nubi Chima The incident that occurred in 2009 about this company, that is 2009. That is one that we mentioned. Okay? And as at that point in time, this has not even come up. If the House knew at that time, I'm sure the Speaker didn't write Honorable uh, Augustine Wan Luan we wouldn't have allowed that. We wouldn't have as a House allowed that until we now realize this. So there was never a time the House came to say he's the best governor in Nigeria. No, it never happened, to the best of my knowledge. And this is not to confer privilege on anybody. We are simply doing our job. I'm happy you said that they are in court. Let's wait until the court decides. But the Speaker didn't wait. No, no, no. I let them wait until the court decides. The Speaker cannot well, be guided. You, you want them to wait? No, they are. They are the Speaker they are and yourselves didn't wait. No, no. Why, there's no law that says we shouldn't do our job. There are separation of powers. The judiciary does this. The House of Assembly should do its job. So there's no law in the world, and there's no law, no court pronunciation that's pronouncement that said we shouldn't do our job. We are sitting. He knows very well. They have not been participating in the sitting. We are sitting very well, and we have been having our sittings. The matter is, because of this level of fraud, last week, Tuesday, being the 24th, because we invited these people to a committee of the House to investigate what is happening. On Monday, we invited them to come and defend the budget, all commissioners and ministries. On Tuesday, we invited the governor's son. We invited uh, um, some of these people to come and defend the matter. So they were scared of the implication. Then in the night, at about 1 a.m., they went and set the House of Assembly ablaze. Awesome. Did you invite them after you served them the impeachment notice? Invite who? Who did you invite after you served the... No, no, no. The... You, you, you don't need to serve an individual's impeachment notice. You only no, serve... No, no. When did the invitation go? Was it after the notice had been served? No, no, no. Before the notice had been served. Before oh. the notice was served. The notice was served just Friday. But we invited these people, um, one bam, uh, who was given a shares in the cement. We invited uh, the former commissioner for petroleum. What's and the term of the assembly that got burnt? The what? The one that got burnt, the assembly, some of the offices. What's mm, your account yes. of it? They, what happened is this. Uh, some commissioners, and it has been reported to the police, some highly placed members of the governor's cabinet met in the government house over the previous weekend. And they now took a decision. They were going to attack members of the House and the House. Unfortunately, How'd by 1 a.m. Yeah? How did you find out? Oh, no, we got to know. That's why we, we said it in the open plenary. It's not a hidden matter. We said this in the open plenary. It's already a result of the House. And we have also communicated the same to police to investigate. Now, they went to the House of Assembly by 1 a.m. and set it on fire. The fire service were able to put it out on the police. The following day, it saw in a bit to stop the house from investigating them and to stop sitting, to burn down the chambers in their ignorance. But the following day, when we went to the house, we see sat, and even the governor came by himself, and we took it around. You could see some offices where they pour diesel, diesel inside offices, for it to continue burning and burning. It is still there to now.